So in a recent video I did, uh, I talked briefly about how one of the primary ways we were able to retain revenue as a gym was in large part due to the hybrid model of coaching that we employ. This of course then piqued the curiosity of individuals watching the video who reached out and wanted to know what exactly a hybrid coaching model was. Now, my intent with this video, my aim, is not to dig deep into the multiple variations of a hybrid coaching model that you could employ, but rather a general overview of what hybrid coaching actually is, because the reality is there's so many individual strategies that you could employ that are very much dependent upon your current business model, your preferences as a coach, the varying services that you may offer, and what may be. Now, expanding off of that, there's so many different avenues that you could go down, so many different approaches that you could incorporate in your own individual business, but at least understanding the basics of what a hybrid model entails will start to spark the creativity needed for you to maybe start incorporating some of these strategies and form a more solid foundation from which you can grow your business on. So in brief, hybrid coaching is a combination of in-person and online coaching. And the simplest way to look at this is some of the services that you offer a client would be with in-person interaction Whereas some of the services that you might offer a client would involve some sort of virtual mode of delivery of service. So let's break this up a little bit and get creative. We won't go too much into depth, but some examples of in-person might be one-on-one -on -one PTs, group classes, uh, strategy sessions where you actually sit down and brainstorm goals and habit approaches and nutrition consultations. You might also include body comp consults, so maybe initial ones for check-ins along the way. You might be doing movement assessments. Right, those are some general in-person services that you may offer. Of course, there's many more you could incorporate, but these are very common ones. And then online, you could, of course, have a lot of these as well. It's not uncommon for these to translate into the online world. For example, you may see people offer one-on-one -on -one PTs through some sort of video conferencing software. You see a lot of group classes offered in a similar fashion. So just bear in mind that a lot of these can carry over to this realm as well. But oftentimes you'll see programming, uh, video reviews, depending on your qualifications, you may be offering meal plans, or macro portion guidance, habit tracking, some form of accountability, such as, uh, I just butchered that word, it's meant to say accountability, some sort of email or text check-in, some sort of group accountability, right? So those are some general things that you might see in the online aspect of it. And then generally what occurs is somewhere along this line, these things get combined into a package that is meant to best serve the client, both in terms of what they require to achieve their goal, as well as what makes the most sense for them financially. So for example, something very common that I do here as a coach is offer one-on-one -on -one PTs in combination with programming, meaning someone may work with us three times a week or 
they might work with us once a week. But regardless, we offer them the online coaching component to ensure that structure remains outside of their one-on-one -on -one sessions because that tends to be an area where a lot of people struggle. And because of this, we're able to charge for this service of programming. We provide that structure. So if they're working with a coach one time per week, but we need them to work out four times a week to achieve the outcome that they desire, then those other three days are structured and progressive and we ensure that it's moving them forward towards the achievement of their goal. Further, we may come right on down here, depending on the individual, and add in some habit tracking. Maybe they need the prioritization of lifestyle habits in order to move them towards their goal. So even though they have a session or two per week with a coach and they're getting their programming, there's some other contributing factors that need to be improved and we can offer that in a virtual setting where we don't need to call them every single day and say, hey, did you drink your water today? We can set that up in a virtual mode where we can offer them that service for an additional fee. Now understanding as much, sometimes we also have clients that they live close enough to us where they can make the trek down, but they don't live so close that they can do it frequently. So the majority of their coaching is done online, but they're in a hybrid model because every quarter, so every four months, sorry, three months or so, they're going to come down to see us maybe for a weekend, do some one-on-one -on -one PTs, maybe review some exercises they're struggling with or learn some new ones that they're going to need in their next training block. And maybe we might sit down and do a strategy session, see where they're at and where they might want to move towards now that they've spent the last three or four months working towards their goal. And potentially, we might take the time to do body composition consultation, right? We might go through all their current stats and assess where they want to move to and, and how far they've come along in the past period. And as well, we might do another movement assessment, right? Maybe there were some individual limitations and asymmetries that we were working on. And we might want to review and make sure that those are improving. Maybe there's some mobility restrictions they had previously that we prioritized in their last programming block. Whereas for three or four months of the year, they're almost completely virtual. There could be an in-person component to their coaching, which makes it by definition a hybrid model because they have a combination of in-person and online service taking place. So there's a few benefits that I want to touch on relative to the hybrid model that I personally love as a coach as well as from a business perspective. So the first one being that at some point in your career, if you're worth your salt, if you're good at what you do, your schedule will get slammed. I promise you that. Now understanding as much, this can be a very frustrating squeeze point for a lot of coaches because you have to determine where in your schedule you want to go lifestyle wise. Right? So you might not want to work 90 hours a week and that's totally acceptable. I wouldn't expect most people to want to do that. So you got to draw those boundaries somewhere. And when you do that, what's going to happen is somebody's going to know you're good because you're getting people results. They're going to show up at your door wanting to do four one-on-one -on -one sessions with you a week and you're going to be like, oh, I don't want the room on my schedule for that. It's going to eat into my time for X, Y, Z or, you know, I want to be done Fridays at 3 p.m. and now it's going to push me to 4.30 and whatever the reason might be, it's not gonna be feasible for you. And you're not gonna to wanna to lose that client because they might be a really good client. They might have been recommended by one of your best clients and you really wanna work with this person and you know you can get them results, so what do you do? You use a hybrid model. You might say, hey, listen, I don't have four times available in my week. I have two. I can give you those two, but I also have the ability to provide another service to you, which will ensure you have the framework available to continue to make progress and achieve your individual results on your time. Because you can offer them whatever else they might need to set that necessary framework. And that is going to make you look incredibly professional as a coach. Now, of course, it won't be for every single client. Some of them might be turned off by it, but the majority of them will like the fact that they can do that and oftentimes they're so great. I would love to do that. Let me know when those other two time slots open because I would like to take them. And some of them will, but some of them will fall in love with that hybrid model and realize that it's more than adequate for them and it services them exactly how they desire because they get the results they were looking for. Second, it should come as no surprise that not everybody is going to have the financial capacity to work with you two or three or three or four times a week, either in a one-on-one -on -one setting or a small group setting. It's just not feasible for everybody. Understanding as much, being able to provide them with a strategy to continue to move forward 
and see results. The framework they're going to require to win with their individual goals is a complete game changer. It's going to make you look incredibly professional as a coach. They're going to realize that you have options for people and having those options is something that is very much welcomed by the client. Further, you're going to be able to get more people consistent results. You're going to be able to deploy your strategies in different ways, which is going to ensure that more of your clients are moving forward and seeing progressive outcomes, which is going to increase your reputation in the industry. Now, the other thing that's important to note is that clients love knowing that there are options for them with which they can see results where they don't have to work with a coach three times a week because a lot of them think they have to to see the best results. And this isn't always the case. In fact, any coach can attest to the fact that this is certainly not the primary determinant of one's success. Yeah, working with a coach for some people three times a week is a better option, but it's not the best option for everybody as a general statement. Now, knowing that, I cannot tell you the number of consultations I've had with clients where I sit down and we start going over options and one of the things that does come up is their budget. And they mention I've budgeted to spend X amount of dollars per week and or month and I realize that this is likely going to limit me to one or two private sessions per week because that's been kind of the general response if they've been shopping for trainers and or if they've worked with trainers in the past. And when I inquire as to what trainers have done for them in the past relative to their training and structure and strategy outside of their PTs, unfortunately, it's not uncommon for the answer to be very little. Sometimes on the high end, a trainer will give them a printout of a general overview of some exercises that they can do or send them an email of some stuff they can do on their days off but it's usually just a cookie cutter, you know, here's a upper body, lower body option and do three or four sets of it 12 to 15 times with a weight that's challenging. It's not very specific, it's rarely individualized. That's the high end. Usually it's, well, just get some physical activity in or just repeat what we did last time uh, and we'll go over something new next workout or worst case scenario, they're left completely on their own and they're not even given any degree of accountability whatsoever. That's the most common. When they realize that this framework is available, when they realize that you as a professional have a strategy for them that matches their budget and ensures that they have the widest foundation of support possible to move them closer to their goals, that my friends is a game changer and it is very, very much welcomed by clients across the board. The third benefit of the hybrid coaching model that really stands out to me is the reality that it allows for the diversification of income. It creates a semi-passive income stream for coaches, which means that you're not capped at a certain income level, which is generally the case. Most trainers trade their hour for a dollar. And that's not a bad place to start. Everybody starts that way. That's exactly how I started my business. It was how many one-on-one -on -one PTs I could do. But eventually you get to the point where you don't have more hours available, or at the very least, you might have more hours, but you're not willing to part with them because of the lifestyle that you aspire to have. Understanding as much, having some virtual modes of service allows you to have a semi-passive income. It doesn't mean that this stuff doesn't take any time or energy, but you may not be charging an hourly rate on that as much as you're charging a service rate for X, Y, Z. Now this means, Two big benefits. One, your capacity to increase your income is now much greater. You can offer a greater percentage of online service once you reach that hourly cap that you're not interested in going past. Or if you maxed out all your hours in the week and you're working 90 hours a week because you're a bit of a workaholic, you're not done. You can still start adding in more and more virtual services and, and, and packaging up different hybrid models to ensure that your income is still growing if that's what you desire to do. Further, as we just learned in the past three or four months, having an online income stream is extremely beneficial because if you're not able to service people in person, that hurts if your only income is in person. If you had even just a small percentage of income coming in, that lowered your stress 
dramatically because you were able to retain a percentage of your revenue. And yeah, if you know you were a 70, 30 split this way, it hurt. But at the very least, you were able to maintain 30% of your income instead of dropping right down to zero, which so many individuals did. And further, you were able to continue to service this aspect and grow this end as needed uh, to build your income back up. Whereas if you had no base of hybrid, you had nothing to offer people in the virtual world. So ensuring that you have that diversification of income not only allows you to earn greater amounts in the future and ensures that that cap doesn't really exist on what you can do and further almost bulletproofs your business moving forward into the future. Hopefully this has gotten some creative sparks flying in your head and you've started to consider the benefits of a hybrid coaching model. It's something that you know, it's kind of been festering in the fitness community for a little while, for the past few years. People have been, you know, dabbling in it here and there. Some people have gone all in and done an incredible job with it. But if you haven't employed it yet, and you realized over the past few months that it wasn't that fun having only in-person income when you drop to basically zero, I would suggest you start seriously considering how you can structure your service models moving forward to ensure that a hybrid coaching model forms the foundation of what you offer. If you found this video informative, make sure you like the video. It helps me out big time. If you like the content that you've been seeing from me, follow or subscribe depending on what platform you're seeing this on. And if you happen to learn anything, maybe something intrigued you about hybrid coaching that you had never thought of before, drop me a comment and let me know what you learned. And as per usual, if you happen to have any specific questions regarding this topic itself, in-person coaching, fitness business, online coaching, what may be, drop me a comment or slide into my DMs and let me know exactly what you'd like me to touch base on. And if I'm able to answer it, I of course will take the time to do so. Have a great day.